So today I'm going to be talking about how to mount the cover slip to a slide. So I'm going to be showing you some of the slides that I used in the previous video that I was sectioning on the cryostat. And what I'm doing right now is just having my entire layout here. So first things first, you're taking your slide out of PBS, which is what you're holding it in. You're going to dry it off. So the way I was learned, the way I was taught, was you dry the back so that you're able to see all the water on the front. And then from this, what you're going to do is then take a small like vacuum, and now you're going to suction all the water off the front. Now be careful to not go too close to the sections because um, you can kind of deform the tissue. So I'm always like really superstitious about that. So I really go on the side of the pat pen, which is what you use to try and hold all the primary antibody, secondary antibody, and blocking buffer in. So we're using Fluoro Mount G, and I completely fill a pipette up, and then I'm going to be placing three drops, which seems like the magic number for me. And so three drops go on the slide, and what we're doing from there is now taking a cover slip we're making sure that it's completely clean. If not, take a chem wipe and clean it off. Make sure it's nice and clean. You don't want any dirt on this. And then you're going to now take some forceps. And with a lot of practice, you are now going to slowly bring from the left, from the right side, and you're going to slowly drag your forceps across so that the entire cover slip will lay flat on your samples and you're going to want to make sure there's no air bubbles inside um, so slow and steady always wins that process and now you're going to use the you're going to suction off any floor amount G that was left there and you're going to put it into a, co a, a cover slip photo or a holder and you're going to hold your slides there for like roughly 30 minutes um, to let the floor amount dry and then you're going to then use like nail polish or something to then really secure the cover slip to the slide. So this is the same thing, I'm just repeating the process over again. And you can see just taking a lot of care to make sure that all the liquid is off. Um, on these slides there's six sections of thymus from two samples. So that's just enough space. The green that you'll see on there is from the pat pen. So yeah, you can kind of see the white, which is the thymus. It's a small immune organ located above the heart. has two flaps kind of resembling a butterfly. Um, so I usually work with thymus a lot. So once again, three drops usually does the, is the number right there. And you want to put the slide on a non-white surface so you're able to kind of see really um, the intricacies and to ensure that there are no air bubbles when you are laying your cover slip down because air bubbles can definitely ruin your sample. So, thank you.